Well, joining me now is the artist who painted that picture, Dan Llewellyn Hall, and the art critic, David Lee. Thank you both for joining me this evening. Dan, you're the artist. You must be pretty pleased with it, aren't you? I'm thrilled with it. I wouldn't change a thing. David, you don't share that opinion. No, I think even among the appalling royal portraits of recent years, this is a bad one, I'm afraid. Dan is a very good, competent uh, landscape painter, but I think he's made a complete mess of this. The lightness is all over the place. She looks like a drag queen impersonator. And the picture itself is not convincing. When you paint a portrait, you've got to make it convincing. You've got to make people think, yes, this is a very good picture. What's it about? And of course, with this one, all you think is, What's gone wrong here? Well, Dan, I'm afraid David isn't the only one who has this opinion. Um, they've been, people have been saying that it looks like a spitting image puppet, and we've had a few tweets in. We've had a, a message from Ruth Grover who says it's dreadful, hope they didn't pay for it. It's dark, ugly, and she doesn't shine out at all, just awful. Hope it's kept hidden. What's it like to hear things like that? Well, I'm with Oscar Wilde on this. I would say that uh, it's the role of the artist to educate the critic and the role of the critic to edu educate the public. So for me, this it, it is a matter really of just, uh, just rolling with the punches. I, I find it all sort of... I'm very indifferent to it, I can tell you that. Do you, do you agree, Dan, that it doesn't actually look like it? I don't think it's... It's not, it's not the role now. P painting has to be pressed a little further, I think, particularly in portraiture. You know, it occupies this cultural backwater. It's very stuffy, it's very dull, and we have this trem tremendous reverence to making images look like photographs, which um, I think painting's got to deepen the game. And it, you know, it, it, it has to go a little further than that, and I, I subscribe to a sort of way of painting where... I, th I think there's a tradition the, um, of portrait painting, Dan, which requires that the first thing a portrait should conform to is the likeness. And you spent... You were given a sitting by the Queen. What on earth were you doing while you were sat there? You obviously the, weren't drawing. The, the sitting and the, the, the likeness, really, is, is something is the beginning. It's like when a novelist starts a book. You begin with the experience and you take it into other dimensions. And for me, it's the same with painting. But this is the beginning of the story. What was it like to sit in front of the Queen? Well, it was uh, very uh, humbling, I suppose, to begin with. I was very, I've always been a great, uh, great fan of her. And I, and, and I suppose after that, it just enhanced that experience. And I, you know, she's a great conversationist. and. Um, very enjoyable company. What so was it, it about her to... that you wanted to capture? Well, she's a complex person. I think she's doing a very difficult job, and I think she's an isolated person. And I think that, for me, I was trying to... Uh, you know, there, there were certain things I had in mind before I did the sitting, but afterwards it becomes more clear to you, I think, when, when you've met the individual and you see the, the private side to them, which I was very privileged to see, and that, that's what I wanted to get through into the... Into the and portrait. do you know what the Queen thinks of it? Has she made any comments? I'm afraid I don't. know. she's very good like that. She doesn't respond to any any portraits, which I'm... You know, it's, uh, OK, well, one thing we should that. mention, that you're the youngest artist ever to have painted the Queen at the age Welshman, 32. Welshman, I believe. I'm not, I don't think I'm the youngest artist. I think I'm amongst the, t the top three. Uh, well, David, we slices. know it's not the first uh, official portrait of the Queen. In fact, it's the 133rd, I do believe. Um, and a lot of them have caused a stir, it's fair to say. And um, we've got a few to look at. Justin Mortimer's. Um, his was rather unusual and uh, very yellow. What do you make of that? Yeah, I, I think that's what Dan is aiming at. That is obviously a caricature representation of the Queen. It was, it was commissioned by the Royal Society of Arts many years ago, and it's an unusual perspective on a very familiar sitter. And Dan should, if he was going to, if he wanted to do something, he should have gone a bit further. At the moment, it looks as though it's halfway between being a kind of a likeness and being a caricature. Dan, what do you say to that? Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's all in the melting pot, isn't it? I mean, you put all these <laughs> ideas forward and it, 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 it comes out as it comes out. And I was absolutely, I'm convinced with it. I'm convinced I, I achieved everything I wanted to and set out with the portrait. I've had tremendous reception, and anyway, I'm, I'm not, I'm totally, like I say, I'm totally indifferent to reception of people, I really couldn't care, and I, I mean, I paint, when you go out to paint, it's a lonely existence, and you've got to, you've got to be the last, you prepared to the last person on earth to roam around and believe in yourself. And what are you going to paint uh, next, then? Uh, possibly more portraits, I might have a rest for a short while, and uh, maybe go back to doing some more, but uh, I'm involved with something at the, the Haylitzter Festival, some uh, residents have there, so I'll be drawing people, I suppose, in, in, in involved in an environment with a out and about, um, but yeah. I'd stick to the landscape. <laughs> oh, well, art is very subjective. I'm sure you have lots of people out there who thoroughly admire your, your work, so very, very well done. Very glad to say I have. <laughs> well, Danny Wellen Hall and David Lee, many thanks for joining us this evening.